Next, we're going to talk to Le uh, Scorpios. Excuse me. It's my rising sign. Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is very much about getting clear on our truth and ushering in the winds of change by aligning to it and being very directive about it. So this is another kind of merger of masculine and feminine energies. This, this theme is coming up over and over for us, right? So we have this primary masculine energy mixed with the, the, the feminine receptive energy of the cups. Likewise, we have the directive, logical, rational mind of the swords, especially with this singular sword pointed directly upwards there is this creative aligned with my truth i know where i'm aimed at kind of sense that's here along with the intuitive powers that belong to a queen who has learned how to holistically manage energy aligned with what we've experienced that's night energy what we've pursued and also what we've absorbed so page energy what we've paid attention to what we have learned so she is condensing all of these things and she's directing them a specific way so for my Scorpios out there as we are being invited to I think you know really hone in to our internal landscape because again Scorpio is a very um, powerful water sign um, I would even say it's like it's like fire and ice or water and fire because um, you know it's a very kind of Scorpio has an intensity to that water and a lot of people, before they learn the elemental system and how it progresses, they're like, yeah, Scorpio is a fire sign. I'm like, no, bitch, it is a water sign. But that combination of intensity and emotionality really can be directed through conscious, logical thinking that is informed by a really holistic, analytical approach. So to me, this is a very, like, elevated feminine that is impregnated by a, a really overarching sense of masculine. So for, for Scorpio to kind of really uh, pursue themselves, it's going to be about asking ourselves, what changes do I want to instigate? What is my truth in this moment? And how do I marry those so I can direct myself in a holistic manner so that I'm not, you know, running in one direction, just intellectualizing things, or I'm not just, you know, uh, trusting too much in my emotional spaces, because either one of those will tire out Scorpio energy. When we come to a balanced position of integrating both that feminine and masculine, both the intensities of uh, feminine emotionality and the intensity of masculine, like, uh, forward motion action and energy when we combine these two things we can start to usher in new waves of change and whenever we see the clouds in the tarot we're getting kind of a a message from source that to be you know focused and aimed at our future while we are you know in honor of what we've learned so far getting clearer and clearer on what works for us again queens are very much about master or, or, or holistically managing an energy field right and we were talking earlier this morning about mars entering virgo yesterday where it's about working in ways that work for us so scorpios are really being asked to take a queenly you know position on how our our words and our ideas and the way we speak how is that being how are we directing that to serve a change in us that is really aligned with where source is leading us in this moment instead of you know being aligned with uh protecting ourselves because scorpio has a tendency to hide scorpio is very fearful of betrayal you know its ruling planet is pluto and there's a big thing about how we um, present ourselves in terms of protection and it's all stemmed on being fearful of of losing what we really want for ourselves but this queen showing up for us is basically by by directing our narratives and directing our mental energy we can stay in control of our emotional experience of what it feels like to kind of be in this state of emptiness as we go further in pursuing ourselves so for me like since this scorpio is my rising sign you know i'm very much being called to outwardly align with my truth 
and express that, you know, as clearly as possible so that I can stay logical about what it is that I'm waiting for, what waters I'm really trying to fill my cup with so that I don't settle. You know, again, when the Knight of Cups is 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 our present reality, there becomes, again, the, um, the temptation to settle for what will fill the cup immediately. Because, again, the nature of vortexes, you know, cup dynamics is like it wants to be filled. And when we are hasty and we don't truly align with our truth, what emotionally feeds us based on our experience and what we understand at this point in time, when we're not doing that in a holistic and directive manner, you know, what we allow to fill us up can be distraction oriented, can be just to, to put off our fears of being empty. And we don't want that. The more we're willing to say no to what's not for us, the sooner we're ushering in what truly is for us. So let's keep that in mind. Okay, Scorpio.